Welcome to the 2016 Chicago Auto Show, and this is our annual top five list, the top five new trucks introduced at the show. Now, this is the Ford Raptor Super Crew, and it wasn't introduced here, it was actually introduced in Detroit. And if you want to see that video, just click above. But I've included this truck in my list because it has something in common with the number one truck. What is that? Well, you're going to have to wait till we get to number one, and that is coming up right now on the Fast Lane Truck. At number four, we have the Chevy Silverado Midnight Edition. Now, this wasn't exactly introduced here because this is the second year for the Midnight Edition, but these trucks must be popular because they're still building them. And what is a Midnight Edition? Well, it's black everything, black wheels, black molding, and of course, black bumper and black fascia. It's kind of like that Spinal Tap album. I can see myself in it, but it is a badass looking truck and it is very off-road worthy if you get the Z71 package. And if you love your Chevy trucks black, the Midnight Edition also comes in this heavy-duty Silverado and over my left shoulder, yes indeed, that's the Colorado Midnight Edition. At number three on our list is this truck, the GMC Sierra All-Terrain X. Yeah, I love the X, that's a great name. Okay, it's an appearance package, but it also gets 10 more horsepower and if you want both an off-road worthy truck and luxury, well, this might be the truck for you. At number two is the refreshed Ram Power Wagon, and you guys won't believe how they debuted this truck. Let me show that to you. It was by far the coolest debut of any vehicle here. Now gone is a traditional crosshair grille replaced by this Ram Rebel-like nose. I think this is becoming the new corporate front end for Ram trucks. The biggest question that you guys asked is, why isn't there a Cummins under this? Because it is a heavy-duty truck. Well, I've got the answer for you. All right, I'm here with Nick Kappa, and Nick is a Ram truck PR grunt, as he himself <laughs> describes it. Basically, he's a great guy, and I had to ask Nick why you can't put a Cummins in here, because that's what you guys wanted to know. So, Nick, why can't we stick a big old diesel in there? Well, that's the number one question. Yep. I mean, every section, every comment section always says, why can't we get a diesel in the power wagon? Well, there's a couple reasons. If we just talk about the mechanical perspective of it, though, first of all, you have a winch behind the front bumper. It's a 12,000 pound winch and that's always come standard with the power wagon. So if that's there, it's actually in the place of where the low slung cack would be, the, low, the charge air cooler for the diesel. You have to have that. So what we could do, I guess, if somebody wanted to be, oh, then just push the bumper all out. Well, you could do that, make room for the winch and everything else. And a lot of people have done that in the aftermarket with their own diesel 2500s. Problem is now you have all sorts of impact tests that it's not going to pass. So you have to keep the package nice and tight in there. If we did offer it, you probably couldn't have to offer it without the winch. Another thing is that the diesel in the, in the Cummins diesel, the 6.7, is a very, very tall motor. It's an inline six. And that oil pan reaches pretty far down. So you have articulation issues. The axle won't be able to move as much. So although this the, the truck benefits a lot from a sway bar disconnect system and the Bilstein suspension and 26 inches of wheel articulation, you're not going to be able to do that with that gigantic oil pan and that really tall motor. Another thing that's mechanical is the, the weight piece of it. Yeah, they're heavy. Oh, it is. It adds a lot of weight to the front, and I think you've experienced that yourself and other, other vehicles, but it's, when you add that much weight to the front of the truck, you, you start losing traction and capability, and that's something that this truck's really well known for. Um, other things that are true is, is, is when you have a V8, you have more high revving kind of horsepower, and that helps a lot when you're in sand dunes or snow or something else to be able to get on the power. It, it, a diesel really doesn't lend itself well to that as much as a gasoline, a high revving gasoline engine does. Number one is this 2017 Tacoma TRD Pro. Now, look at this color. Does it seem familiar to you? Toyota calls it cement. And if you recall, it was the same color that was basically on the Raptor. And that's because, well, colors come in styles. And right now, apparently, this style is red hot. And Mike, you were standing, or actually you were sitting, in front of your newest creation, yeah. right? The new uh, Tacoma TRD Pro, which, uh, second generation, right? Second generation. generation. So tell me, let's start with the basics. What's new on the truck? Well, it really comes down to the suspension system. Yeah. You know, we have some, some cosmetic changes, but uh, we change the springs, we change the shocks, we uh, change the track, it has new wheels on it. Um, Again, exhaust is different, and then you got cosmetics like the seats are changed and shifters and badges, uh, and, that, and this wonderful cement color that we have on the truck now. Yeah, it's a cool color. 